We have just experienced, or we just come out of the experiences associated and the consequences of Hurricane Elsa, where the use of tarpaulins was extensively used in some cases to help uh, reduce or prevent the water damage associated with those roofs that were compromised. You have arrived on the scene. You are assisting a resident to apply the tarpaulin. The first thing that you do is do an assessment. You agree? Yes. You do an assessment of what you need. The length of the tarpaulin that you will require. What tools you will need to safely do the job. That is, if it is, if it's a ladder, you can look around. I just went by Keisha and I realized she has two pieces of scaffolding that I can use. Can I use your scaffolding? Because don't assume you can go and take it up because she may got it there because it's faulty, right? So make sure that you have what is required. If you're using nails, the right nails, if it's concrete nails, um, if it's going into concrete, make sure you have your hammer and your saw. And in some cases, you may want to make sure you have some level of gloves and there's something that people omitted. What's the next thing that you're going to use? Make sure that you have some eye goggles as well. Now, in this application, Remember, the tarpaulin should always have a pitch that the water should run off. So what we did here was to nail it and build this that it has a pitch. The steeper this pitch, the quicker the water run off, but the more dangerous it is for you. So always remember that. If we were to apply the tarpaulin here and we did not put in these strips, what would happen is that the tarpaulin, even though it has a slope, you will get a belly in here. And then you will get the possibility of the tarpaulin being damaged. You would agree with that? So what? always make sure that before you install the fabric, have some level of supports. Now to support this material is recommended that these should be at least two feet, three feet the most. So we have, we have cut, we have cut the, um, the strip to the required length. What's the next step? To, to attach it. Oh no, we're cutting all the material first. Not necessary. Okay, well to attach it. So, we can, after we have done that, you can position the tarpaulin to make sure that you have a relatively equal distribution on either side. Okay. What, what we got the other side? Well, you do what you have to do. All right? Now, once you have done that, now what has actually happened is what you will find out in the field. The wind is blowing. No. Let this hair come down a minimum, a minimum of two to three inches from the edge. Okay? Now don't drive the nails right in, huh? No. Always remember. Always remember. Nailing should happen at one one side first and come down. All right. No, you, you don't worry. You don't worry about hair being tight yet, because this has to determine the tightness when you do that side. Now remember, the roof has small and large sides. You put the tension on the bigger side of the roof first. Wesley, you have the knife? Quick, quick feet. You 
don't necessarily have to cut. No, you see this here? This is going to be on the inside. Okay. So what we have demonstrated here today is certain basic things that you want to do. 